with air fry. This is a very powerful 1350 watt microwave. It has 1.2 cubic feet inside. It is very roomy. It doesn't take up a lot of space on the countertop, but I found it will hold an entire family sized casserole dish or a small roasting pan or a 13 inch pizza. This microwave as a four in one microwave will convection, it will bake, broil and microwave. It also has an air fry basket and an air fry setting that will let you make very crispy French fries and chicken strips. When you first set up this microwave, the first thing that I recommend you do is uh, walk yourself through the manual just so that you can see how to use the co different combination settings and the one touch settings. Since these, all you have to do is turn the dial. Everything is really easy once you get the hang of using the dial and uh, there are several one touch settings as well. This microwave comes with a standard glass tray and it also comes with that enamel tray as well as a stand and an air fry basket. Here's a look at the different settings when you turn the dial. You can also use sensor cook which is just pushing the dial and it automatically senses what's in the microwave and it'll adjust the power and the cooking times for whatever it is you're making. The manual will actually tell you when to use the stand and the air fry basket for what functions and uh, you can have a different listing of times for cooking different items. Look at some french fries that I cooked up using the air fry basket. As you can see the air fry basket is quite large so you can make a family sized plate of french fries. So cooked up chicken strips with the air fry basket and uh, they came out great. They were very crispy and it took about 20 minutes. One of the interesting things I noticed with the Panasonic 4-in-1 microwave is that it would get very hot while it was cooking. So if you cooked for 20 minutes or more, then the inside would be hot and it, the fan would kick in and it would be required to cool down for a few minutes until you or before you could use it again. What I love about this microwave is that you can defrost your dinner. So I, here I am defrosting a roast and uh, once you're done defrosting the roast, then you can mix it up as a dish so you can like add your um, different seasonings and then you can put it back in and cook it. Just one of the combination settings for cooking the roast beef and I was instructed via the manual to place it directly on the platter, the enamel tray, so I did that. Um, all I did was add a few seasonings and I put it in for approximately 45 minutes. End of the 45 minutes, the roast was rare as indicated by the manual. It said that it would cook at rare at that point or at, for that duration. And I inserted a temperature gauge in there and it was approximately 120 degrees internally. So I like to have my roast a little cooked a little bit more than that, more of a medium rare. So what I did was put it back in for another 20 minutes. When it came out the second time, it was perfectly cooked. It was brown around the outside, as you can see, and it was very juicy, which is surprising for a microwave, but it did use, the combination setting did use some microwave time as well as some uh, convection time. I also used a combination setting to make a potato casserole. There was a really great potato casserole recipe in the included manual, so I made that. That's just potatoes layered with cheese and uh, milk and sour cream. Although it doesn't make a difference with the microwave itself, I like the cute little sign that says enjoy your dinner at the end of every cycle. Here's a look at my potato casserole. So that was cooked with some microwave and some convection. I made Say hi to your new favorite cooking companion. GE's first ever countertop appliance with air fry, convection, grill, and microwave cook modes. Made to save you calories without sacrificing crunch. Made to save you time with a preset menu that has all your favorites. And made to save you space with all the functions you need in one conveniently sized microwave.
Bring a new level of multifunctionality to your kitchen with the Cuisinart 3-in-1 Microwave Air Fryer Oven. The Cuisinart 3-in-1 Microwave Air Fryer Oven has a custom-engineered heater and fan designed for precision cooking. This versatile 0.6 cubic feet unit allows you to microwave, air fry, and convection bake with functions and presets that take the guesswork out of cooking. With 1,500 watts of power, the air frying function uses significantly less oil to bring optimal nutrition and superior flavor to your favorite foods. The presets are programmed for time, temperature, and fresh or frozen foods. Use the basket to air fry up to two pounds of chicken wings using the wing preset button. Then air fry some side dishes using the fry or snacks presets. This 700 watt microwave is programmed to cook a variety of foods by using professionally recommended power levels and cooking times. Use the control panel presets to microwave popcorn, potato, veggie, beverage, melt or soften, and reheat. Choose from 11 power levels or use the microwave preset functions to create delicious dishes. Defrost frozen foods by time or weight for when you are in a hurry and need a quick weeknight dinner. Use the stage cooking function to automatically shift between cooking methods in a sequence you select for dishes that require more than one setting. Combi Cooking offers you the option to use microwave energy along with the oven or air fry feature. Cook with speed and accuracy while browning and crisping to perfection. To customize your cooking needs, use the selector dial to manually program your desired temperature or power level in time. This multifunction appliance is equipped with sleek touchpad controls and a stainless steel interior that does not absorb odors and is easy to clean. Simply wipe down the interior and exterior of the unit with a damp cloth after use. Air fry, roast, bake, and reheat with the Cuisinart 3-in-1 Air Fryer Microwave Oven. True Convection Steam Toaster Oven is a small appliance that is actually surprisingly large and incredibly heavy, <laughs> but it's small for how much size you're getting out of it. And as you may have guessed from the name, it does way more than just air fry your toast. It has a 20 liter interior capacity and comes with a two level steam tray, two nonstick baking trays, and two wire racks that are great for lifting items that need to be steamed or air fried. And the back of this really sleek, easy to wipe down oven, you'll find a powerful heating element that's wrapped around a large fan. This allows the oven to heat up quickly and keep the air in the device moving. It's a true combination product with the ability to convection bake on two levels, steam on high for a maximum of 30 minutes or medium for a maximum of 60 minutes and stew foods. It also air fries foods on its healthy fry setting and has a temperature range of 30 to 40 degrees Celsius for fermenting foods or 100 to 230 degrees Celsius for things like baking, convection baking, and steaming. There are 18 auto cook settings on this Panasonic toaster oven and it's all controlled through a really small LED panel. I found that the panel was really well lit and easy to read but my mom who helped me test this product and has cataracts 
had a lot of trouble navigating the device. So my recommendation is, if vision in the kitchen is not a big issue for you, don't worry about it. But if you're struggling to, for instance, read a novel at arm's length, the size of this LED display might actually throw a wrench into your kitchen plans. With the immense popularity of dry cooking techniques, things like convection baking and air frying, you might be wondering why Panasonic is spending the time to create a steam-based oven, much less a steam-based oven that also does things like air frying. And I think I might have an answer for you. Steaming is actually a great way to produce healthy, tasty results in the kitchen, and steamed foods get finished pretty quickly. I'm Chinese, and I grew up in a Chinese household, and when I was growing up, we steamed so much of our food. Everything from bao, which are these delicious, filled, steamed buns, to, like, my grandma used to make this whole fish, a whole white fish, and it was covered in, like, chives and ginger and black beans. And I hated it, <laughs> but my sister loved it, and the rest of our family loved it, and it was such a nostalgic classic Chinese dish. Asian cultures steam a lot of our foods, but sometimes, especially if you live, for instance, in an apartment, it's hard to dedicate an entire appliance just for steaming. So this combination oven from Panasonic is pretty great. It's so easy to wipe down the inside and to hand wash or dishwasher the trays that go in it, and then you can steam when you need to and create really fluffy breads and buns and stuff like that, but you're not left with a device that can only steam. Right now, I'm pulling out some really tasty salted topped uh, brown butter chocolate chip cookies with walnuts, and those definitely were not steamed, but they were so good. The Panasonic Air Fry True Convection Steam Toaster Oven is such an immensely combination product that I could not possibly list off all of the things that it does here. Make sure you check out my full review at the Best Buy blog to learn more and read about how this oven can do everything from air fried chicken for you to steam and rise buns and even deodorize baby bottles. It's such an adventure and such an interesting combination product.